Hey YouTube, this is Mark Schuyler from Westy Travels. I finally finished the big solar install upgrade on all the essential components. I guess the first thing I wanted to do was uh, show you how clean everything looks. You can't even really tell that I did a major install that took me hours and hours. Um, but uh, Most of the electronics are underneath the driver's seat and underneath in this cabinet right here. Okay, Battleborn battery, major switch, turn everything on and off. This is that double pole breaker. And I just killed the energy from the solar panel up in the luggage rack, putting it back on. A little closer look in there, and you can see the Victron shunt. And I'm going to have to remember to show you the app, um, but I get a lot of good information from there. Estimated um, time left on the battery. Uh, the uh, uh, amount of energy I've used, etc., etc. We'll take a look at that. Um, I've also got my bus bars on the side there, one positive, one negative. I'm really happy with the install. Um, I did get it into a fairly small space. I had to buy this battery anchor, and um, it, it's for a Group 27 battery, in case you're wondering. It's for a Group 27 battery. Uh, it took me a little while to figure that out. I didn't want to get one that was way too big or too small. And let's see, um, got it strapped down with a Velcro strap and it doesn't move. Okay, and um, coming over here, here is the on button and uh, makes a kind of a little obnoxious noise, but at least you know it's on. And uh, it's saying that right now, uh, the charge on the Battleborn is 13.3 volts. Um, so I like it because it's a little more powerful than my old one. Uh, my old inverter was 1100 watts. This is 1200 and it's a pure sine wave. So it's super clean energy. No worries about ruining electronics, which happened to me. I also like that this one has a little extra USB. You can't have enough USB ports around the van. And uh, so now let me do this. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to give you a quick look at the solar panel here. And you can see that I have um, a negative and a positive with uh, some grommets here that are really, really watertight. And these come in here. I had to lift the rail a little bit. You can see that there's a tiny bit of space there, but I don't get any water intrusion. And I uh, put some foam in, but I'm gonna have to put a little bit more in, extend it down a little further. I think the foam shifted. I drilled a little hole here and it comes through. And at least I got them tied off so that they're coming down relatively neatly. They drop straight down to all the electronics below the seat. So let me show you around uh, on that. So coming around to the front. Excuse our little walkabout. So on this side, you can see the back end of the inverter and a small group of wires diving down below. Let me open this up a little bit. And I'm gonna shift the seat forward and pull this back. And now you can really see what's going on. So I have my two Victron uh, smart, smart meaning they're Bluetooth, uh, charge controllers, because you can't just hook the solar panel directly to your battery. Um, these MPPT charge controllers are uh, top of the line, and this bigger one here is the one for the panel I showed you in the luggage rack, which is a Renogy 100 watt panel. This one over here is when I do plug in at a camping site 
I plug in another 110 watt panel, a Go Westy, it's collapsible, it's foldable, and it actually just, this was part of my install as well. I installed this, and I can connect directly into here now, instead of having to set up the solar panel outside the van in the sun, and just run the wires through a crack in the window, which was really kind of a kludgy way to do it. And now I have a nice clean way to um, get the energy over to the solar charge controller, which in turn brings it over to the battery. And what I'm going to do is try to move this up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Now, what you can, it's a little hard to see. I thought about removing this bar, but it, it's real pain in the butt. I've done it so many times, it takes forever. So forgive me. But you have a tiny little blue C um, fuse panel for some of the, my DC accessories and I can access it. I did have a blown fuse um, a few weeks back and I was able just to pull the cover off, reach in and check which one, which fuse blew and replace it. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? There's the Orion and you know if you uh, watch my wiring diagram video how high I am on that piece of uh, technology, great piece of technology. And even further tucked in, is the Victron DC to AC, excuse me, AC to DC charger. Takes the energy that I can bring in from shore, plugging directly into here, and it will um, take that AC and convert it over and dump the DC energy into my Battleborn battery. Uh, charges at either a slow charge, four amps, or a fast charge, 15 amps. So that's under there. You can see there's a miscellany of fuses. Here's one of my grounds. And uh, I did have to cut a small section of metal out here. There was already a small cutout from the factory, but I enlarged it with some tin snips. I reinforced it um, with some, um, I don't know, adhesive tape that really keeps the wires from uh, coming in contact with the sharp metal and it feeds everything into there and it looks really nice and neat. Okay, so let me just put the seat back real fast. I showed you some of the solar install on the uh, outlets on the side of the van. The Engel fridge. Uh, didn't talk to you much about this. Uh, I think it's called the Engel 45 and but it holds 42 43 liters it's not quite uh i don't know why they call it the angle 45 when it holds 42 or 43 but i don't know why a 2x4 is called a 2x4 either when it's not exactly 2x4 so um left the inverter on let me just turn that off real fast there you go and uh I guess some of the other uh, things that I can show you really fast, you might be interested in, is that uh, underneath the bench seat here, bear with me, I have the Alpine amp. And this amp, when I'm playing music, I've been able to, with the shunt, I've been able to track how much energy it uses. And it rivals in energy use the uh, energy that the Engel fridge uses when it's keeping food at 38 degrees. Um, so the Alpine and the amp and the fridge together are really part of the reason why we need this upgraded solar. Um, I didn't bother to move all this information away, but under here is a Propex heater. All this information, all this material out of the way. And this is the control for the Propex, a carbon monoxide alarm just in case. And uh, yeah, that's the install. Uh, this yellow light is for the water in the tank. Green battery is at a great voltage. Um, you can also see that on the dash near the head unit to the right of that, I have uh, another uh, voltmeter that I just put there. Is it quick? As I'm driving, I can just look at that. I don't want to always open up my app and look at the Victron. But you do get a lot of information when you go over here. So let me uh, kill this light 
and bring up the app. Uh, there it is. And you can see that it's recognizing right now the Smart Shunt, the Orion, the Renogy, and the Go Westy panel. And it's getting a Bluetooth signal from all four of those. When I do have the shore charge plugged in from the outside and I have the AC to DC charger on, that shows up here as well. So that would be a fifth uh, Victron item that would show up in my list. Um, out of curiosity, I'm just going to see if the Renogy up top is producing anything. Sometimes it's producing a lot, uh, but the battery's already full. Okay, uh, today's a little bit of a cloudy day. As you can see, it's really not all that bright. And so only um, 11 watts right now in the cloud cover. And um, about 0.7 or 0.8 of an amp. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go back. Um, let's go directly to the shunt. And see what it says. State of charge, 98%. Um, gives me the voltage. It says right now that um, I am charging with a few amps. Uh, oh, you know what it is? <laughs> Sorry, negative sign. I uh, missed that negative sign. It's because of this amp, the stereo uh, is on. So let me kill that and see what happens. Yep, the numbers are dropping. Time remaining is saying that at the, uh, and it should be going up three days. Uh, now it's infinite. That's interesting. It just went to infinite, meaning it's getting so much uh, current. Yeah, okay, so it is positive now. <laughs> There's a must be a little delay on this so i'm learning as you're learning i think there's a delay that uh, it took a little while for it to see maybe the amp took a moment to shut down and um, now i'm producing positive power no negative signs makes sense not up here in the current uh, consumed that is what i've consumed recently i guess um, about two amp hours um, I don't know over what period of time that is, maybe since the last time that I um, had gone to the app, the app. I'm gonna have to look that up, see what that is. But I like that infinite, and obviously we get a history here, a lot of data, um, trends. I have to figure out what those graphs mean. So th there's, there's a lot to play with here. Um, but when I just took it on a camp trip for the weekend with my wife, we never got below 90% state of charge, even though the refrigerator was running uh, continuously and the car wasn't moving for quite a, for almost a full day. Um, and, you know, I would be thinking about the state of charge on my old battery, my 50 um, amp hour battery that I had before this 100 amp Battleborn, and now I don't have to worry about that. Um, Really happy with the install. There were no um, nasty surprises. And um, thank you for watching. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Please do all those YouTube things. Uh, hit the thumbs up, that does help. And um, you may wanna check out the wiring diagram that I used. Here's uh, just a quick shot of it. I have it um, on the back side of the fridge. And it was really nice to just, as I was doing the wiring and trying to figure out where everything goes in the space here inside the van, that I could just consult this. Yep. So uh, thanks again and see you in the next video.